In this video, we'll be setting up Overseer, which is an open source tool that makes it easy to manage media requests from your Plex server. Overseer provides a clean and intuitive interface where you can search for, request, and download movies and TV shows. It integrates with Sonar and Radar to automate the download and organization process. And if you set up the automated media server I covered a few videos ago, Overseer will work perfectly with that setup. Let's get started by configuring Overseer. As I just mentioned, I'm adding it to the automated media server from my previous video, and I'd suggest you go through that setup as well. At the very least, you'll want to have Plex, Sonar, and Radar configured, which are the prerequisites, along with Container Manager for this setup. Once the media server is running, you can start setting up Overseer by launching Container Manager from the main menu. You'll then want to select Project and create a new project. For project name, enter Overseer. Before moving on, bring up FileStation, select the Docker Shared folder, and create an Overseer folder. Inside that folder, also create a config subfolder. Now switch back to Container Manager and for path, select the Overseer folder you just created. For source, select create docker compose.yaml. Next, open the Overseer documentation website, which I've linked to in the description below. Click on the installation section, then go to the docker compose tab and copy the docker compose.yaml listing. Switch back to Container Manager and paste the docker compose.yaml file into the source text box. You'll then need to make a few changes to the file. For my setup, I commented out the log level entry, changed the time zone to my own, and changed the volume to match what I've set up on the NAS. Now you can click on Next. Click Next on the Web Portal Settings window, then click Done to build and start the Overseer project. If you get an exit code of zero, the project was built successfully, and you can connect to the Overseer Web UI by opening another browser tab and connecting to your Synology NAS IP address on port 5055. This will bring you to the Welcome to Overseer window where you'll need to sign in with your Plex account. Once logged in, configure Plex by entering in the IP address of your Synology NAS in the hostname or IP address field, then click Save Changes. Under Plex Libraries, toggle on both the Movies and TV Show switches, click Start Scan, and click Continue. Under Radar Settings, click Add Radar Server. In the Add New Radar Server window, check the box for Default Server. Enter a name for your Radar Server. And type in the IP address of your Synology NAS in the Host Name or IP Address field. You'll then want to open Radar in another browser tab and log in if needed. Go to Settings, then General, and copy the API key. Switch back to Overseer, paste the Radar API key in the corresponding text box, and click Test. Now set the Quality Profile, select the Root Folder, and adjust the Minimum Availability option to your preference. Once finished, click Add Server. Next, click Add Sonar Server to bring up the Add New Sonar Server window. Just like Radar, check the box for Default Server. Enter a server name and set the host name or IP address to the IP address of your Synology NAS. Then open Sonar in another browser tab, go to Settings, then General, and copy the API key. Switch back to Overseer, paste the API key in the corresponding box, and click Test. 
Then set the quality profile, root folder, and language profile. Once everything is entered, click Add Server. At this point, the initial setup of Overseer is complete, so click Finish Setup. Now you'll be able to use Overseer to search for movies and TV shows you'd like to add to your Plex library. From the Discover window, you'll see trending movies and TV series at the top, followed by popular movies, genres, upcoming releases, and studios. Below movies, you'll see the same categories for TV shows. You could also browse specifically for movies and TV series using the menu in the left-hand column. If you already know the title of the movie or TV show that you want, you could use the search box at the top of the page, click on the listing, then click Request. You could also change the quality profile if you want something different from the default, then click Request again. Since I requested a movie, if I switch to Radar, we can see the movie added to its queue. And in Qubit Torrent, we can see the download of the movie in progress. Once the movie finishes downloading, it should appear in the Plex Movie Library ready for you to watch. Hopefully you've got Overseer up and running. If you have, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, check out my automated media server video listed here on screen if you haven't set it up already. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me to help you set up Overseer, you can contact me by clicking on the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.